दिस क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज कम इन योर माइंड दैट वाई इज द स्काई ब्लू और बेटर दैट वाई इज द ओशन ब्लू सो दैट्स वीडियो दिस वीडियो फॉर यू द स्काई इज ब्लू ड्यू टू ए फिनोम कॉलेज स्केटरिंग दिस स्केटरिंग रिफर्स टू अ स्केटिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिशन ऑफ विच लाइट इज अ फॉर्म by particles of a much smaller wavelength sunlight is scattered by the uh, particles of the atmosphere and what comes through down to earth is called diffuse sky radiation and through only about one upon third of light is created the smallest wavelength of uh, light trend uh, tend to scatter easier these shorter wavelengths cross uh, correspond to blue hues hence why when we look at the sky we see it is as blue at sunset and sunrise the angle at which sunlight enters at the atmosphere is significantly changed um, and most of the blue and green wavelengths of light are scattered even before reaching the lower atmosphere so we see more of the orange and red color in the sky the ocean is not blue because it reflects the sky so i believe that up until a few years ago water actually appears blue due to its absorbs of red light when light hits water the water's molecules absorb some of the photons from the light everything absorbs as a different wavelength your green t-shirt absorbs red and as a result it reflects the remaining color back at a view that's why t-shirt uh, looks green in shallow bodies of water like a drinking glass light the uh, nitrates it's completely as there is not enough water to absorb enough photons so we see the water as colorless in deeper waters however not all the wavelengths of light can fully nitrate the liquid as there are too many water molecules in the way of the photons the water molecules absorb all the red wavelengths from the light making it reflect blue this is also why uh, shallow waters appear less or lighter blue than deeper ones less absorption means less reflection